everybody. Hey! Well, we are finally doing our tour of our home, TALO, which stands for Tom and Lori on Wheels. She is a 2005 Alpha Sia fifth wheel. Everybody's been asking, let's see the rig, let's see your house, let's see your RV. We've put it off and put it off and put it off. We're not putting it off anymore. Here you go. Ready? She's 399 square feet. Of three livable slides. space. Yep. So let's check her out. All right, let's start in the kitchen. Now, if you've been watching our videos for a while, you've basically seen our RV in the kitchen and everywhere else, but we're kind of doing a full video so that you can see it all. Um, one of my favorite things is the pantry. I like that it is not very deep and I can reach and get to everything easily. Nothing is hidden. So the favorite thing about my kitchen, my kitchen, is that there are two refrigerators. That's right, two individual units. They are not just side by sides. They are two individual units. And yes, it has a scarf because when the wind howls, through the vents, it's pretty noisy. So, since we're in the desert with no with wind, we've got a scarf around our fridges. The kitchen island is another one of my favorite things. I have lots of counter space, which is very rare in an RV. Two sinks, pretty deep, pretty good size. Um, we do want to change this out at some point, but it's not bad for right now. Lots of storage. There are eight drawers. Four on that side, four on this side, and then of course the under the sink, which where we keep all of our cleaners and that sort of thing. And then of course our stove and oven. Uh, we have a regular oven. I keep stuff in there when we're not using it, but I do use it frequently and I just take that stuff out and set it on a chair. Uh, microwave we don't use anymore, but except for storing uh, paper plates and snack plates. <laughs> um, stove top. Everybody's, you know, got these Dometic, uh, no, what is it, Atwood. But I cover mine with this glass cutting board. I had it in my craft room, and it just happened to work perfectly for this. I keep a piece of the non-slip non on here, so obviously we don't travel with it. And when I cook, I just take this down, and it slides right here next to the cabinet. So that works out. Something else that's very cool about our Alpha is we have a built-in knife block in behind the oven or the stove. And then our trash receptacle is right there. And we get to it from the outside. You could also lift this lid up, but um, you just drop your trash in there and you change it out outside. So no spilling in the house, no smells in the house. It's great. Um, in our cabinets, it's where we keep, I've got lots of spices, huh? <laughs> and I get these big jars from Costco and then just refill my smaller jars. Um, dishes up there, this is how I pack them up with the, um, the rubber stuff that you use, just shelf liners, pack them in a bag. I only unpack what we're going to use. That way we still have extras. Over here we've got coffee, coffee cups, and just our stuff that we use frequently every day. Um, down here is a not as deep cupboard because of the trash behind it, but it's a perfect place for all my um, Tupperware and that sort of plastic wear. And then on this side here, got measuring cups and bowls and there's a blender that's in there. Um, cookie sheets and all that, cutting boards. Oh, and we also have four more drawers or three, yeah, four more drawers. So there's two underneath the refrigerators. So this one here I have um, cloth pa uh, placemats and napkins and pot holders and some holiday stuff. And then here's all the Ziploc bags and wraps. Um, this one here is just is the junk drawer. <laughs> and under the stove are just a few more, well the foil and recipe book and just other kitchen odds and ends but 
it's great having so much storage. So over here, I, I like my utensils out and yeah, sometimes they get a little dusty, but I always wipe everything off before I use them. But I like having them all out and handy to grab very easily when I'm cooking or baking. Um, this is our dining room table. It used to be across over on the other side of the RV, but um, we customarily sit with our food on our laps in a tray and wa or watching TV. Um, it is usable if we need to. We just pull another chair up right here and we can sit at the table. But mostly I use it for my workstation when I'm doing my work. Um, I set the laptop here. I have a um, plastic drawer cart and I pull that out and that's what I use as my place to put my mouse. Um, this is where we keep our pots and pans. It's up in this cabinet. And this is where I work. So this area, if you've been watching our videos for a while and watching our Saturday coffee chats, this is where we do it. This is our living room. Um, Tom also does his uh, working on his videos right there. He has one in progress right now that he's working on. Um, we love our Euro recliners. They're very, very comfortable. When we first got the RV, there was a sofa sleeper here that we had out right away. <laughs> These chairs were over there where the kitchen table is right now and they were crammed in there and you couldn't really move around very much. Um, so we've moved it here. It's much more comfortable for us. We watch TV straight over there and it's our cozy little corner. We have, oops, <laughs> we have cabinet here and then we have overhead storage all across the top which they call attic storage. Welcome to our office area. So this slide area is basically our office. This is where the dining room table used to be when it was first made, um, but we moved the table over into the kitchen and we uh, made this our office. We had two of these white desks and we each had a desktop computer and we recently, well within the last year, we got rid of one of the computers and one of the desks and now it's Kaylee's corner. It's her favorite place to lay. <laughs> <laughs> That's her little corner. Um, and uh, Tom does his radio stuff over here. He's got all of his, oh, you've got the pillow in there. Nice. He's ready for travel, but his microphone and his computer for the radio station are right there. Our big old TV, we traded, changed this out um, early on. Uh, the other TV was old and big and heavy and it wasn't as wide. <laughs> so this is our office area. Um, it has storage up in those two cabinets. There is an entertainment area over here. In this cabinet, yes I still have my Christmas wreath up. This is where the sound system is and we've got cameras and stuff up in here. All Tom's tech stuff is in that cabinet. <laughs> um, behind the TV. We're going to get a curtain to kind of go behind here, but um, Tom has all of his internet everything over there. He can probably explain that to you. Something that is awesome about our Alpha is we have a central vacuum system. It is fantastic. You just put the hose into there. It's very long and it reaches all the way to the bedroom and all the way to the back of the coach and even out the door to the truck if we are in a position where we can park right outside the door. So that is number one. <laughs> number one in my book. So this is our basic living room area. Oh, wait, we have more exciting stuff. So right here along the top of this slide is an area where we keep our ball caps. Um, it was actually intended as a fishing pole rack where you could store your fishing poles. We also had told you about the attic storage, but look how high our ceilings are. We are even able to have a ceiling fan. I can barely even reach <laughs> to uh, turn it on, but that is fantastic. It helps. And speaking of fantastic, we have a fantastic fan over here. And um, what what is it, a variable speed? Uh -huh. Is that what you said? It's a variable speed. Um, we love the fantastic fan. You can do it, bring it air in or bring air out. And um, 
it keeps it nice and cool in here. It's on 12 volt. So that helps when if it's a little bit warm and we can't run the air conditioner because we are boondocking. So as in every RV, there is a control panel area and this is where ours is. So of course the thermostat for your heating and cooling, um, this, you know, all your idiot buttons for your tank sensors and battery, uh, water pump, you know, all the usual are slide, slide buttons and stuff. This is our solar controller, mm -hmm. the inverter button on and off, and then that's a super boost for our converter, right? Very good. I always get those mixed up. So let's go see the rest of the house. I am currently in our hallway. It's our bathroom. Our bathroom is the split um, style where we have shower and tub over here, toilet over here, and then the sink is over here in the bedroom. So come along. So bathroom, your general toilet room. We uh, hung a sarong up there as a curtain because when it's hot, the sun beats in here and can make a very hot room. Regular toilet, some storage up here. This is the fan that Tom and I replaced. It goes along with our uh, palm tree theme anyway. Um, our tub and shower, we have a, a little garden tub, which makes it handy. Um, we have a soap dispenser that we use for shampoos and uh, our uh, storage jugs for spoon docking. So this is the bedroom area. We have our bathroom sink right here. We have lots and lots of uh, cabinetry storage for it. We have three drawers under the sink. Um, this closet right here is where the washer and dryer used to be and we got rid of that. And now it's storage space for our step stool and TV trays and extra paper towels and toilet paper and towels and stuff. So explain why we got rid of the washer and dryer. We got rid of the washer and dryer because after we got our solar, well, we actually did it before that, but we were planning on getting solar anyway when we had gone to Leisure Coach Works to have work done and we had them remove it. Because one, we were gonna be do boondocking a lot. And the washer and dryer, if you're gonna be boondocking a lot, you can't use it anyway because of the water consumption. It's using up your fresh water and then you have to have somewhere to put that water. And so it would take up too much space. Also, we wanted to get rid of that weight, which was over 300 pounds, to offset the new solar panels and the equipment that we needed to get that solar set up. So we didn't need it. It was only did small loads, and I can get a month's worth of laundry done in two hours Where? at a laundromat instead of having five things done at a time, and it took about three hours to do the laundry. So here in the bedroom, the main feature is our residential California King Select Comfort Sleep Number Bed. We had, it came with a king size RV mattress that after one night we went, Meh, out it goes. And we knew we were gonna be living in this full time so we had to make sure that we were comfortable. And so we figured out a way to make our residential bed fit in here. Luckily it fit between the two um, end tables or night tables, whatever you want to call them. And uh, it works and it's very comfortable. Yay! One thing about our Alpha is it has too much storage space because what do you do with that? You fill it! We've actually been offloading quite a bit since we very first started uh, almost four years ago. So this little area, um, I think I showed in like a Tuesday's quick tip, um, my jewelry storage. Um, I make jewelry, so therefore I have a lot, not that I've made every single piece that's in here, but it's an easy way for me to see what I have and what I want to wear and quickly and easily can um, uh, get it and wear it. Uh, my vanity area, which I never used sitting down anyway, so basically it's like a little dresser. Uh, this is a Tom's, dress, Tom's dresser area. Uh, that We have four drawers, two are his and two are mine. Here's his, I sort things with those tissue boxes. Um, and then we have pajamas and, and everything else in there. Our closets are nice and big. And if you've watched any of our other videos with those 
storage ideas that we've changed around and purging. Um, this is my side. Tom has a full side on his side. Uh, we use the plastic drawers and these little dealies for uh, our t-shirts and stuff. So that's pretty much it. A little tour. I mean, how much can you do in 399 square feet, right? <laughs> One more thing we wanted to show you, and it's Kaylee's Zen Garden, also known as her litter box. And that is kept in a cabinet that we have right here. Um, super duper easy, out of the way. And since she's so picky, it's never smelly because she wants you to clean it instantly. So I have a little tap light in here so when I get up at night, oops, it's not very bright. When it's dark in the room, that helps. <laughs> so that's it. So thank you for touring our 2005 Alpha Leisure Sia fifth wheel. It's 35 foot, 399 square feet. And we love our cozy, comfortable little home. Thank you for joining us. See ya. Welcome. Thank you for, woo.